Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install the 7840U drivers on your Ally or your Ally X. You might want to try these drivers if you're looking to try out some new features like AFMF2, maybe you're looking for some new game optimizations, or maybe you just want to connect your Ally X to an eGPU. Whatever your reason, we're going to go through the whole setup, make sure to watch the full video so you don't miss any steps. To start off, we're going to download the 7840U drivers, in this case it's 24.9.1. So just search the version number and add AMD drivers to the search and then you just need to click on the link that says release notes, it will have a download link in there. So now you just want to click the hyperlink on the side that says download and install and that'll take you to the actual link further down on the page. Now you can click on that link and it'll start to download the drivers. Once it finishes downloading, head over to your downloads folder and we're going to run the driver pack. Once you run the drivers pack, it's going to look like it's installing, like everything's going smoothly and then it's suddenly going to fail. So you're going to get a message saying that it cannot install, that's perfectly normal. With the driver installation failing, we've now got the files that we need in the C drive. There's a folder called AMD that has now appeared and that's where you can find your drivers. So we're not going to go in there right now. What we're going to do is we're going to open up our device manager and this is where we're going to be able to manually update the drivers. Now that we're in device manager, click on your display adapter and right click on the AMD Radeon graphics and then click browse my computer for drivers. Then choose let me pick from a list of available drivers on the computer and then click on the have disk button. Now you need to click on browse and we're going to go find that folder. So mine was already open, but I'll show you the process. Go to the C drive and then go to AMD. Click on the AMD software installer, then click on packages. Now drivers followed by display. And then there's going to be a WT6A folder. Open that up and there's one .inf file. So select that and click open. Then press OK and you're going to get a large list of drivers. You want to make sure that you select the AMD Radeon 780M graphics. So click that and press next. You're going to get an update warning here. Uh, don't worry about this. It will be compatible. So if you click OK, it'll start to install the drivers. You can expect your screen to flicker black. It might rotate weird. Don't worry about this. It's completely normal. Once it finishes going through this process, you should have the drivers updated and you'll actually see now that the display adapter will update to be AMD Radeon 780M graphics. Now one thing that you need to do as well is your AMD app is no longer going to be compatible. If you try to open it, it's probably not going to open or it's going to give you an error message if it does actually successfully open. So what we need to do then is we need to actually go and install the AMD Radeon software that came included in that bundle. So that's going to be found in that same folder that we referenced earlier where we found the drivers. So as a reminder to get there, we go to our C drive, go into the AMD folder, AMD software installer, and then we're going to go to packages, drivers, and then we're going to go to display. Then we go into the display folder and then WT6A and then we're going to go into a different folder that starts with B4 and then a string of numbers. And then we need to scroll down and there's going to be a document that starts with a C so just scroll down to the C. The document's called CCC2 install so we're going to run that. And what this is going to do is it's going to manually install the Radeon software. So this will take just a couple of minutes. So give it a second to finish and it should uh, give you a message saying that it's completed at the top and then you just have to click close. Now that we've installed the drivers and the software, we're just going to reboot our system so that everything is good to go. Now that we've reboot, the AMD app should be running in the taskbar tray here. So we can double click that just to make sure that everything's working perfectly. And it should pop up like it's a fresh install, like it's the first time you're opening it, which is a good sign, so that means that it worked. And you can see that we have 24.9.1 installed. So now if you wanted to take advantage of that AFMF2, it's going to be in the graphics tab here. You can see right at the top there, we have Radeon Super Resolution, and right below it, we have AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2. Now you can use AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 or any other features that have come out if you're watching this at a later date. And the nice thing and the main reason why I made this video is now you can plug in an eGPU that's AMD and it should be plug and play. I'll demo this with my One X GPU One, which I have in the background there and I have the USB-C cord plugged in as well as power. All you need to do is plug it into the leftmost port of your ROG Ally X and you'll see that the eGPU turns on in the background. Because I have my display port plugged into the eGPU, we're going to get the video to the monitor right away and that means that the graphics are now being handled by the eGPU. 
Now if we head over to our AMD app, we can see that our eGPU is showing up. So click on the little gear icon in the top right corner, and then you'll see that we have the RX 7600 XT. This is my 1X GPU one. And now moving forward, it should be pretty easy to use your eGPU. You just plug in the USB 4 and it should be pretty much plug and play. One other note is that you can only use the eGPU on an external monitor right now with the Ally X. It is very specific to this driver set. Uh, in August, those drivers work on the internal display as well as the external, but for some reason it's not working on 24.9.1. Any game that you try to run will crash, doesn't matter if it's Steam, Windows, whatever, it just does not start up. This is very specific to this driver set, so very likely this will be fixed in the future, so let me know in the comments if you're watching this in the future and it's not an issue anymore. One thing to note is that anytime you're moving forward with any driver updates through this method, you're going to always have to manually install them, so if 24.9.2 comes out tomorrow, you're going to need to go through this same process. If you don't want to deal with this anymore and want to go straight back to stock, check out this video on how to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.